Hey everyone, this is Chris here, and I'm going to play Mysteries of the Ancients. Now, this is actually a redo. Uh, I was stupid and put the other recording up. I, even though I did really, really badly, and I was walking around for like 50 minutes, so I'm going to replace that. But if you were one of those people to listen to the original when it was up for, oh, I don't know, half an hour, an hour... Um, well, I hope you enjoyed it because this is going to replace it. So this is, I guess the best way to describe this would be like an adventure game, an adventure side-scrolling game. So basically the premise behind this is that you're Dr. Angela Carter and you're going through this dark tomb that's chock full of monsters like harpies and pentors and there are also traps there's um things like pits lava pits um spikes just all kinds of nasty stuff now this is a demo this only contains two of the planned 10 levels and i don't think it'll be completed this went through quite a long history. Uh, the guy that made this, his name is Thomas Ward. I think he started around 2008, and it was initially called um, Hontezuma's Return. But he got into some legal trouble, and I think he got into a pretty bad lawsuit. So he, he changed it, and he came out with a few different versions. I think there was one called... Histories of the Aztecs, uh, which didn't really go anywhere. And then he came out with this series, which is, well, Histories of the Ancients. And the idea behind this is pretty much the same. You're going through the tomb. Uh, I think he changed the character, though, because the character was not originally female. Um, and he went through... I want to say like 22 different beta versions between 2009 and 2011. And I think in in August of 2011, he stopped working on it, which I think is really sad because this game has a lot of potential, as you'll see. But uh, I'm going to hit enter on the game. Listen to the intro. All right. Select a menu item. Okay, so we're in the menu. New game in. And yeah, he uses text to speech. I don't, I don't know if that was designed to be like that in the final version. I assume not. But uh, yeah, so this is the main menu. Load new game in. New game is the first option. If you also can tell. It says N, so you could hit N to jump to that option and activate it. Load game L. Load game, that's L. Describe sounds S. Describe sounds, I'll go through this. Select a sound. Arachna. Arachna? Arachne? I forget how you say her name. Yeah, there's a lot of Greek <laughs> monsters in here. Armor. That's armor. Centaur. That's a centaur. Cerberus. Chasm. Chasm. Cyclops. Dagger. By the way, the music is just fantastic. Dart. Fire. Gem. Gold. Harpy. Injured. Laden. Lamia. Lava. Ledge. Lever. That's a lever. Lion. Lion. 
and some of these sounds are not actually used again I think because he was planning to add things to this but he never did Minotaur <laughs> Orb Platform that is a platform that will appear and disappear and you'll have to jump onto the onto that in order to cross some chasms. Potion. That's a that's a potion. Rope. Rope. Scroll. That's a scroll. Shield. Skeleton. Now I don't I think that really sounds like a skeleton. I'm not sure why that click noise is being used. Spear. It's a spear. Spikes. It's a spike. Statue. Sword. Torch. Water. Weapon. Zombie. Cancel escape. Select a new game mode. Get described sounds. S. Program settings. P. Okay. Program settings. Select program settings. Background ambience. A. You can turn on, on and off the background ambience that's used in the game. Background music. U. You can turn on and off the music. Joystick profile. P. This allows you to assign commands to a joystick. I'm not going in here because I did that in the other recording. And unless you have a joystick to press buttons on, you have to close the program. But if you have a joystick connected, you can assign different commands to the controls on your joystick. Enable joystick J. That lets you enable it. Enable mouse M. This game also supports using the mouse. I don't know what the commands are. I think they're in the, the documentation, so if you look, you can see that. But I am using a keyboard. Load default cell. I think this lets you restore your default settings. Save settings S. And save settings. Save. Select a menu. New game in. Okay. And sorry about that. That's my Mac Mini. The audio jack on it is kind of crummy. Load game L. Describe sound programs. Test speakers T. Test speakers. Left speaker. Right speaker. Select a new game in. Always important. If your speakers aren't on the right way, flip them around. Load describe program setting. Test speakers T. Trophy case C. Trophy case. This is something that doesn't work. Unavailable. It says unavailable. Exit program, new game in. New game. Select a difficulty level. Beginner B. So I could have hit N. Intermediate I. But I just hit enter on it. Beginner B. So you've got beginner. Intermediate I. Intermediate. Advanced A. Advanced. Expert E. And expert. Cancel escape. Let's just hit B. And now we're in the level. Now. Select help. If you hit F1. You get a list of all your commands organized into categories. General G. You got general. Actions A. Actions. Information A. Information. Weapons W. Weapons. Cancel escape. And you can cancel. General G. General help. Load game F4. Pause game F2. Save game F3. Quit game Q. Cancel escape. Quit save game F3. Quit game Q. Cancel escape. So there you go. That just tells you the commands. I'll tell you what they are. It's probably quicker anyway. Select help. So. Pause. You hit F2 to pause and unpause the game. Uh, to, to choose your weapons, you hit 1 through 7, or I think that's actually 1 through 8. To draw your weapon, you hit W. To put it away, you hit W again. And you'll have to put your weapon away when you're jumping or trying to grab onto ropes because you'll need your hands free, which I think that's really cool. That's a really cool design thing that was put into this. And it m makes it just a bit more realistic. Um, let's see, what else am I missing? Well, I guess we'll just go. I'll tell them as we go. And pause. I'm going to hit F2. And I'm going to walk to the right. Use the left and right arrow keys to walk. Now, this is a chasm. To do a run jump, you hold control, shift, and the arrow key. Like that. Here's watch a rope. Out. And she says, watch out. Watch it. 
to jump, you hit control with the right arrow. Uh, and I think I just landed on the ground. Nine millimeter pistol, not drawn. Yep, and control W will tell you what your current weapon is and if it's drawn or not. Gold coins, gold coins. And now I'm just walking through this room. What as... now? All right, that's an enemy. Ancient punch. Looks like and a dead end. You just, hit, you just hit the space bar to attack. Let me draw my weapon. Hit T to activate the, the torch. Control T tells you how many you have. Ancient torches, zero. Zero. If a room is dark, you won't be able to hear the items in there. You'll just have Looks to like a dead end. press enter. So let's go back up. Now this is something very important that I learned. You have to press and hold control with the left arrow. And you can check your coordinates with X. Current location, 40, 4, 11. Yeah, you have to press and hold those keys. Now I'm gonna run by holding shift and the left arrow. Looks like right, a dead end. There's some stairs. I'm climbing up with the up arrow. Ancient torch. Grab that torch. Oh crud. And I Looks spent like too a much dead time end. talking. Because you only have a certain amount of time to get back to the uh, locked door look out. before the lever uh, timer times out and it locks again, so I have to go back. And pull the lever. And I'm running back to the right. Uh, uh. Nine millimeter pistol, uh, not drawn. Uh, uh. Right, up. Uh, uh. So yeah, control. Uh. Control left and right arrow to jump. Looks like a dead end. Let's see. If it'll let me through the statue. Yep. Okay. This is another chasm where you have to do a run jump, so you take a few steps back. There's another one! Diamond. Want armor. Oh boy, now I'm injured. Yeah, so to do a run jump, you take a few steps back from the chasm edge and hit control shift with the arrow keys to run, and she will jump on you. Alright. Healing potions, zero. You hit control P to check how many potions. Looks like you a dead have. end. I don't have any. Which is not good. Let's see. There's another one! Healing potion. Oh get a potion. What now? Ancient scroll. Alright. ammunition. What now? Ancient torch. More ammo. Looks like a dead end. Here's a lever. Current health, four. I'm gonna hit P to heal, or t to drink a potion, which is gonna heal me. And it plays that breathing noise when her health is low. Actually. What now? One sword. Looks like a dead end. Alright, I just went down that stairway. Hostiles! Ancient torch. Looks like a dead end. Pull the lever, and now I'm going back to the stairs. Yeah, so... The cool thing about this game... Is... Watch out! Would you like to save a checkpoint? Yes, why? Yeah, let's save. So you hit F3 to save. Save. Pause. And I'm gonna pause the game. So the cool thing about this game is it's not just a side scroller where you go from left to right. You'll find your path is blocked by doors or statues or walls, and you'll have to climb up and down ropes and unlock statues with levers and do all kinds of things. So that's the cool thing about this game is it's not just a hack and slash. There's actually some strategic play involved, which I think is really cool. Anyway, I'm gonna unpause. Unpause. Watch it! Oh, whoops. 
Watch it. Okay, if you can hear that, that's a platform that appears and disappears. Ah, uh, whoops. Game over. Sorry, you have been killed. Better luck next time. So new load game. Would you like? Yes, what loading? So I Please think wait. I have to do the run jump. Game uh, over. We're not. Sorry, Let's see. you have been killed. Better luck next time. What? New game load game. Would you like? Yes, loading. Please wait. Loaded. Watch it. Thank you. Hold. Uh. You hold control with the right arrow to land on the platform, and then you run to the right a few steps, and then looks like a dead end. Jump, because that's a really big chasm. We've okay. Got hey, Destroy that skeleton. Looks like a dead end. Light my torch. There's another one. Ah! 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 Current health. Good healing potions. Zero. Looks like a dead end. Okay. What now? Ancient torch. Sapphires. Yes, we need healing potion. potion. Now. Would you like to guess why? Safe. These are spikes. Now, for some reason, I had a lot of trouble crossing these before. But if you step up to the edge. Uh, oh! Game over. Uh, Sorry, you have been killed. Better luck next time. Select a new load game. Would you like? Yes, loading. Please wait. Loaded. Uh, there we go. Would you like? Yes, what? Safe. I think you just have to hold control with the left arrow. Uh, out of my way. Okay, this is the boss. Machine. Need some? This is the machine. Zero. Uzi ammunition. Zero. Uh, my Uzi is empty. Nine millimeter pistol. Pistol ammunition. Zero. Need some. Need something. Uzi submachine gun. Bow and arrow. Need something that just tells you that you can't use. Want dagger. Need something. Want sword. A weapon in that slot. Need something. Want dagger. Bow and arrow. And yes, I do. Want arrows. Twelve. Would you like to say yes? What? Safe. I need more weapons. All right, so let's go left. Okay. Gold coins. Rubies. So Looks on, like a dead end. We're on level two. The Looks like head. a dead end. Head to the right. There's another one! Healing potion. Gold coins. Looks like a dead end. I need more. Need something? Ah! 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 Game over. Oh crud. You have been killed. Better luck next time. Select a new load game. Would you like yes, loading? Please wait. Loaded. Gold coins. Need something? Need something? Want dagger. Bow and arrow. Want sword. Let's switch to the sword. Rubies. Looks like a dead end. Actually, this might not looks like a dead end. Let's see, let's go up. What now? Healing potion. Gold the coins. Sword. Looks like a dead end. The sword is actually really good. What now? Current strength. Good. Uh, uh, Face current strength. There. Ancient now, scroll. Ancient scroll. The one thing. Pause. I will tell you about is strength. So you do have a strength value. If you hit G, that will tell you your strength. Strength is used to swing things like a sword. Well, obviously. Which, again, it just it makes it more realistic. Um, but strength is used to swing things like your sword. It's also used when you're on a rope, so you don't want to hang on a rope for too long or you'll die. Well, you'll fall and die. And pause. But anyway, that's that. Looks like a dead end. I'm just climbing up these staircases. <laughs> Get a shotgun. Want arrows? Yeah. Ammo. Look out! Would you like to? Yes. Why? Safe. Okay. Wooden door. To the right. Ten feet. Stone ledge. Below. One foot. Swinging rope. To the left. Five feet. Now, you can hit V to view what's around you. 
paused. What I don't like though is it used to be organized into a nice little list that you could use with the up and down arrow keys and then hit enter, but he changed that so now it just shows it to you as a big chunk of text. And paused. Anyway, I think I can do a, let's see. Okay. Current location. 60, 5, 30, 4. Uh. Uh. So I jump. Ancient punch. Looks like a dead end. Looks like a dead end. Healing potion. Gold coins. Looks like a dead end. Yeah, the sword is actually pretty good. Oh. Watch it. Would you like yes why safe? Oh, you have to do a run Game jump. Over. Sorry, you have been killed. Better luck next time. Select a menu load game. Would you like yes loading? Please Let's wait. See. Loading. Wait. Game over. Did I not? Sorry, you have been killed. Better luck next time. New game load game. Would you like yes loading? Please wait. Loading. Watch there it. we go. Let's sheath my sword. Watch out. Would you like yes what? Say. Yes. Uh. Knowing when to put your weapons would you away like yes, what? Say. is very important because you could be jumping and you would die. Uh. Jump. Uh. Ancient punch. Healing potions. Three. Looks like a dead end. Alright, so climb. We've got company! There we go. Watch it! Would you like to say yes? Why? Safe. Oh, watch it! Game uh. over. Sorry, you have been killed. Better luck next time. Select new load game. Would you like yes? Loading. Please wait. Loading. Look out! Oh, so that's just a standard jump. Look out! Oh. Game over. Oh. Sorry, you have been killed. Better luck next time. Select a new game. Would you like yes? Loading. Let's Please see. wait. Loading. Oh. Game over. What the Sorry, heck? you have been killed. Better luck next time. Select a menu. Load. Would you like yes? Why? Loading. Please wait. Loading. One sword. Not drawn. Watch out. Oh. Watch it. Look out. Would you like yes? Why? Same. Oh. There we go. So you have to looks like a dead end. Do a standard jump by pressing and holding control with the right arrow, and then you have to ancient torches three. Do a run jump. Out of my way. <laughs> ancient torch. Goodbye. Healing potions. Ooh. Healing potions four. Whoa! I have a lot of and potions. Current health. Fair. Looks like a dead end. Ancient torch. Grab a torch. Pull another level. Lever. Would you like yes? What safe? Watch it. Okay. Uh. Uh. That's another platform thing that vanishes. You just have to time it right. Looks like a dead end. Would you like yes to save? I think we're getting up to the second boss. You can also hit R to check your current room. Current room, 21. And X to check your coordinates. I don't find it too useful. Ancient Hulk. But, you know. Looks like a dead end. Looks Wait. like a dead end. Really? What did I miss? Uh, aha. Would you like us to save? Uh, uh, out of my way. Uh, I think that was the boss. Oh, here. I think that was a Lamia. Would you like yes we'll save? Game over. Thank you for playing this USA Games demo. To purchase this or other great USA Games titles, visit our website at www.usagamesinteractive.com.
For technical support, please email us at support at usagamesinteractive.com. Select a menu, exit program X. So there you go. That is Mysteries of the Ancients. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty short. It was a demo. Uh, I think it's really sad that he never completed it because this game has a lot of potential. But um, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. You can get it from agarchive.net. As always, I'll put a link in the de description. But uh, yeah, for now, you guys take care.